Well, I got a couple more hours on my card, so I'll make a video of us going out. It's not going to be the best, but actually I've got a handheld, my handheld uh, GoPro, so I'm going to use that. And uh, I should have tightened my seatbelt before I started filming. Let's see if I can get that. And then we'll be ready to go. My normal tripod is packed somewhere where I don't usually pack it. I remember doing that and thinking, oh, I remember it. <laughs> I'm going to open the back window, see if I can get some mosquitoes out of the car. There's probably a thousand in here. And uh, we got 47%. And after charging, I went to Fort Francis. That's what we got for efficiency, 3.9. So that was a few days ago. I've driven quite a bit of mileage since then. But this won't be the best video, but uh, I gotta remember to stop at the uh, garbage on the way out too. Oh, I'm gonna hit my windshield washer too. I should have done that earlier, but, but here's the way out. I got neighbors to the straight ahead there and I got some to the right. And these people have a really nice camper, Winnebago. Now if they're smart, they'd go down there and take the one I had. Uh, nobody else was pulling there. Oh, they maybe they were waiting. They hadn't unpacked at all. Oh, look at these people. They got nice, uh, nice tarps and stuff. I don't know, it's kind of different. And there's an old, kind of an old fashioned looking tent. I didn't know these people were here. Yeah, I should run back around to see if those people in the Winnebago took my site. Yeah, good outhouse there. This is an accessible site. I wonder if the rule is on those for what time of the day you can take them and use them. So, this handheld uh, GoPro Mini worked pretty good for touring the campground. Because I can maneuver it a lot better than my other tripod. So, sometimes things work out. Yeah, <laughs> I looked in that truck that pulling that Winnebago and uh, there's the husband and the wife and the daughter was back in the camper. She was getting out of the camper. So they were sitting there waiting and they had a quite a wait too, hours. <laughs> so I was putting on a show and uh, <laughs> I didn't even know it. I seen them over there, but I figured they were camping, you know. But uh, I guess the thought crossed my mind, but <sighs> I kept looking over there, didn't see any activity, so I should have guessed it, but I was thinking of going over there and telling them, you know, if you want to wait, this is the best site in the campground. There's a nice looking gray wolf there. And uh, they didn't need to be told. <laughs> Maybe they've been here before, but good move. I wonder if they'll, uh, I moved the picnic table back where it was. It kind of blocks off the area I was in. I thought I'd do that for the guy that, uh, caretaker guy, but he might be concerned that I'm camping on a spot that it looks like they want to turn it to grass, which is really stupid because there's like six inches of black dirt there that was moved in. A little scamp. I wonder why they got a, a little scamp logo on that thing there. Everybody knows they're scamps. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go back and look to see if they took that site. This is the best site in the park. They knew. Well, I passed a couple sites I've used. I should have pointed them out, but the one was with my tent and the other I've used with my camper quite a few times. And this is a loop here, but I need to come back and go through there. But I think I'd like to do it. Here's where the big 
the big campers usually stay is in these few sites here. There's a couple of them that'll take a nice long camper. A couple sites. Mm. All right. And these people have been here for a long time. Probably since the fishing opener, maybe. I don't know. Don't see much activity. They must have boats. Hopefully my GoPro will take some of this jarring ride out of image stabilization, you know. Yeah, the lake is pretty high right now. Surprising, because I thought it, it might be a little low for the amount they drew it down. The reservoir down was quite a bit. See, these sites up in through here are interesting, they're cute and everything, but you're so far away from the water that, see there's some of them that are built on little terraces, you know, that's pretty nice, in the dark woods. And that one's on a total slope, <laughs> ridiculous, expect. You couldn't even find a flat place to pitch a tent, I don't think, on that site. That one is... Those two are okay. That one's perfect. A little ridge there to give you some privacy. Oh, I'll toss right by it, too. Uh, I don't think I'm interested in any of these here. I did a good cleanup and stuff on my site, so those people should be happy campers. Yeah, that's not a site. There's another one. It's on a total slope. <laughs> now, does it say I can't go this way? I don't think it did. It's just a, two, three, four sites in here. I wonder if this campground has ever been full. <laughs> That's not a site there. This is a good site here. There was a camper about the size of my fifth wheel that would have fit in there pretty good. That would fit in there. I should try it sometime, but it's not very private. So now we'll go back and see these people. These are pretty much back in the woods, but there is a nice one up here that it's got really good privacy and I might bring my uh, my fifth wheel camper down here and then, uh, then I'd go home and get my car. It's not that one, it's the next one. Go home and get my car with a full charge of electricity and come down and I'd be able to power my camper with my car like I did last winter. That one there, you got kind of a rock ridge on both sides. That's beautifully flat. So I like that site for privacy, for sure. Oh, I gotta get I got a mosquito buzzing me. Well, they didn't take it yet. <laughs> 